Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how to come up with ideas for your blog and YouTube channel using something called bottom-up note taking approach. So nowadays so many people have their own YouTube channel, blog, newsletter and podcast and so on, which is great because these creative projects can be a source of income or even full-time job someday. However, one of the problems people tend to have when starting to create online is coming up with ideas for content. You know, what should I write about or what kind of video should I make? I struggle with this too, but I recently remembered that I read some writings by Andy Matschak and Song Ahrens about their way of generating ideas for their writing project called bottom-up note-taking approach which I thought was really useful and I thought it could apply to other types of content creation too. So in this video, I want to show you the process of bottom-up note-taking. The tools we need are just your laptop and a note-taking app like Obsidian, Remnoid and uh, Rome. So let's get started. For most creatives, there are three steps in content creation, learn, create and repeat. If you follow these steps, you should be able to make content online consistently. But I think some people try to skip the learn part and just jump to the create part and as a result they struggle to come up with ideas for content. So the first part, learn part, is what we are going to focus on in this video. The key in the learning part is getting lots of input and taking notes. It sounds obvious but getting lots of input means you have to read lots of books, articles, listen to podcasts, TED talks or go on Twitter to find out what's trending and take notes of what you learned. The reason why getting lots of input is important is that content creation is about mixing different ideas together. If you mash up different components from different sources, it's gonna look like your original content. So most successful creators are just really proficient at, you know, getting lots of inputs and mix them together. So the more inputs you get, the more combinations of ideas you can make, therefore more potential content ideas. For getting inputs, you can simply read lots of books, which can take lots of time. So I'd say it's a good idea to use book summary apps like Blinkist and Shortform. And you can use apps like Feedly and Instapaper to read blog posts and essays. But my favorite apps are Refined and Mayberry because I think they have better curation system than other apps. But if you're interested, I made a video about them before, so please check it out. As you get more inputs, you will find some of the information to be helpful for you, which means other people will find it helpful too. So if you found something useful, take a note about it. I usually take notes using the zero custom note taking method, which is a little bit complicated, so I won't go into detail. Anyway, let's say I find this article helpful. I usually make highlights first. If you're using apps like Instapaper and Pocket for reading articles, you can make highlights in the app. But personally, I use this Chrome extension called Eloquent Quick Capture because it lets you use the slash commands to grab the title, author, and URL of the article and make highlights too. Now let's start making highlights. Okay, once you're done, copy everything and paste it into your note taking app. It doesn't matter which app you use, but my favorites are Obsidian, Rome, Remnoid, or Ampunote. In this video, I am going to use Rome Research. In here, I paste the highlights and have a quick run through of the highlights. If I think some of them are useful for my future writing or videos, I will rewrite it in my own words. Rewriting is very, very important because it forces you to think through what it means and how it can apply to your life. Okay, now here's a trick for each note you make. Think about potential titles of blog posts or videos you can make. It's kind of like keywords and tags, but more specific. Let's think about how you would search on Google. You almost never search for general terms like productivity or marketing, right? You would search more specific things like how to take notes to create more ideas. Find that specific thing that could make use of this note. This is similar to the idea of creating speculative outlines by Andy Matschak. He says, when you write a new note, add it to one or more outlines you are maintaining creating a new one if necessary. Substantially complete writing projects will naturally emerge. This is the underlying idea of bottom-up note-taking. You make notes about whatever interests you, whatever you like, and each time add that note to potential outlines. As you repeat this process, new writing or video projects will naturally emerge. Personally, I organize my speculative outlines as pages that start with Q. So it's easy to see what outlines I have. And in each page, you can check how they are growing. Once an outline feels ripe, 
you can take it and turn it into an actual article or video script. This is really easy because you already have enough notes about the topic and all you have to do is just reorganize them in a coherent way. Then you will soon have a manuscript. Okay, so that was a bottom-up note-taking approach to cultivate ideas for content. In summary, you need lots of inputs to come up with ideas for content. Use apps like Mailbrew and Refine to get inputs efficiently. Make a note every time you found something useful in your words. Finally, add that note to potential outlines and repeat this process to grow the outlines. I know this process can take lots of time, but personally, I find it really useful. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!